In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily control your computer remotely using your phone. So the first thing that we need to do is actually install the Chrome Remote Desktop app on your phone. Make sure that you install it using the same Gmail account that you're going to be using on your computer. So now on your computer, using Google Chrome, you can do a quick search Chrome Remote Desktop and the website that you want to go to is remotedesktop.google.com. So you can Google it or you can type it in directly remote-desktop.google.com Once you're here, you go to remote access to the upper right corner and you would like to sign in with the same Gmail account that you're signed in on your phone. Okay, so now that you're signed in, you're gonna click remote access, download whatever this thing is. You're going to install this Chrome extension. Once you have the Chrome extension installed, then you go back to the same page. I'm gonna go back to my normal window, not incognito. So here I am in my normal browser with a Chrome extension already installed. So we're gonna click on turn on and you're gonna name the device. Click next. It's gonna ask you for a pin. Normally it's like six digits. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Start this thing right here. Yes. So this says starting, but it's not going to change. You need to now go log in on your phone so that you can access the computer. So I'm going to bring on my phone screen right here. And if you don't see it, you can click on the refresh button right here. Refresh. And now this is my computer. When you logged in on your phone, then it goes online. So you can click on the device that shows in there. Type in your pin. One two, three, four, five, six, and click connect. So now, as you can see, I'm controlling my computer using my phone. So I'm going to go to the desktop and, uh, well, better stay with this right here. So a few things that are very handy is that when you, if you want to right click, you need to double tap, like with two fingers, tap, and then that's the equivalent of a right click. If you want to type something, you can just go to wherever you want to type. And if you swipe down, as if you're trying to bring the notifications thing, then you will get um, some sort of a keyboard that you can just type in with, you know, and then you just type in whatever, blah, 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 blah. And there you go. If you want to select multiple things, you just need to tap and hold and then just move around and that will make like a selection thing. So those are like the little tricks that will be very helpful whenever you're using this. And um, yeah, your computer needs to be connected to the internet, of course, in order for you to actually be able to use this tool. And it is very, very, very handy. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel. Have a wonderful rest of the day, my friends, and stay safe out there.